This is how to make a developer title in Roblox Studio. Let's get started by making a billboard GUI to be displayed over our developer's head. So let's go ahead and open up our spawn location right here just by clicking on it and selecting it. And inside of here, we're going to click on the plus icon and we're going to search for a billboard GUI. This billboard GUI doesn't matter what we name it, but inside of here, we just want to insert a text label. Now, you may not be able to see it just yet, but that's because inside of our billboard GUI, there are a few properties that we need to adjust. The first one being the light influence. Let's change this down to zero, so that way the world's lighting won't influence the way our billboard GUI looks. The next one will be changing the studs offset to the y-axis, which is the one in the middle. Let's try two studs, so that way it's slightly above whatever it is that we put the billboard GUI inside of. And the size, I'm personally going to put to 5, 0, 1, 0. And that will just make it roughly that size. From there, inside of our text label, we need to change the size of this one to 1, 0, 1, 0. And that will take up 100% of the billboard GUI that is inside of. From there, we can also change the background transparency to 1. And we can now modify some text properties. So down here, I'm going to change the font over to Fredoka 1, because that's my favorite font. We're going to make sure the text is scaled. And we're going to change the text color over to a lighter color, so that we can see it a little easier. And then I'm going to insert something called a UI stroke, which if you don't know what this does, it simply adds a black outline around whatever text we are looking for, which in this case is our text label. And then we can simply change the text to whatever we'd like to. For me, I'm going to press the Windows key and the period key at the same time, and this is going to open up an emoji window, which I can use to search for something called a hammer. And from there, I'll select two of these, and I can close this out, and then right in the middle of these, I can say developer. I'm going to put a space on either side, and we now have a developer tag just like this. You can feel free to customize this however you would like to. It doesn't matter whatever is inside the Billboard GUI, but it really does only matter the Billboard GUI itself. So you can make sure that this is customized to however you'd like it to look, but for me this looks perfectly fine. So from there, I'm going to insert a script into server script service, and let's insert a brand new script. Inside of the script, let's drag our billboard GUI right inside of it, and then we can go ahead and get scripting. So right up here at the top, I'm going to start off by declaring a comment called services. I like to personally separate off different sections of my code because I think it makes it look much more readable and even organized, which is much, much better inside of scripting, especially when other people have to look at what you're doing. And we're going to start off here by getting the player's service. So local players will be equal to game, get service, quotation marks, players. And if you don't know what the player's service is, it's this player's service that is right underneath the workspace. And you can click on play. And inside of the player service, you'll notice your own player will be there once you join the game. And your player is responsible for holding the GUI, the other player scripts, starter gear, all these different things like that, and including other data and other values like that. Now let's click stop. You should have seen your player inside of the player service. And that's just pretty much what the player service does. It holds all the different players inside of your game. Now let's go down here beneath the services and we're going to create a brand new comment for our variables instead. Once again, to keep the code nice and organized. And we're going to create a brand new table for all the developers that we want to be able to give a developer tag to. And this is going to be equal to a pair of braces or squiggly brackets. And we're going to press enter inside of here to create a new table. Then we simply put a pair of square brackets and then quotation marks. And this will be the username of the developer that you want to go ahead and give a developer tag to. For me personally, my username is Rusty Silly Band. And this is going to be equal to true. And then let's also put someone else in here, such as developer one. And this will be equal to true as well. You don't have to worry about setting other people to false at all, because if they are not inside of this table, then they are not a developer. Now let's go down here, and we're going to say another comment for our functions. Beneath our functions variable, we're going to say players.playerAdded, and we're going to connect a function with the parameter of player. Now this player that we took as the parameter is the player that was added to the player service at the time that this function was connected. And then inside of here, we're gonna say, if not developers, square brackets, 
player dot name then. What this is going to do is that if the player is not inside of our developers table, so if it doesn't see the player's name inside of here, then we're just going to go ahead and return because we don't want to give them anything if they're not actually a developer. Then we're going to say player dot character added connect function, and this will be the character as a parameter that was added to the game. And I'll zoom out a little bit. And then we're going to say local billboard GUI will be equal to script find first child of class quotation marks and this will be a billboard GUI. So that's going to find our billboard GUI inside of the script and we're going to check if there's a billboard GUI right there. Then we're going to say billboard GUI clone dot parent will be equal to character colon wait for child and then this will be head. So it's going to wait for the character's head body part to appear and it's going to clone the billboard GUI into the character's head. So let's go over this one more time. Whenever the player gets added to the game, it's going to connect a function with the parameter of player. Then if that player is not inside of the developer's table that we made, it's going to return and pretty much end the function right there. Otherwise, if the player is inside of that developer's table, then it will continue on with our function and it will allow the player's character to be registered right here inside of this function. And we're going to go ahead and find the billboard GUI inside of the script. If it's there, then we're going to go ahead and clone it to the character's head. Let's go ahead and press play and we can go ahead and test it out. Now, join inside of our game, you'll see that since I was a part of that table, I will have this developer tag above my head. And you can also change this to owner or maybe builder, modeler, scripter, whatever. You can just do that if you'd like to. It's completely customizable to however you would like this to be. So if you learned something in this tutorial and it helped you a lot, please make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below. I hope you had an absolutely fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye!